Hello guys, I'm back with another video. We're going to hear and root the Boostax version 0 0.9.11.4119. Uh, now, this is for version whenever you have the KitKat OS. So this will work for basically version 0.9x. The X can fill in for whatever version that is because this should work for all versions of 0.9. Um, but anyway, it should work, but it doesn't mean that it's always going to. This uh, method isn't always successful, but you al must always remember to make sure you have um, BlueStacks reset, meaning back to its factory state, um, meaning you have to uninstall BlueStacks and completely get rid of all the data before you can actually do this. So first, what we're going to do is we're going to load BS Easy, BlueStacks Easy, and run as administrator. Then after that, after we run it as administrator, we detect whether or not if it exists, and it, if it does exist, then it works. Or run a compatibility check, which is I'm running it right now. And make sure this is on top because you're going to want it on top. And as you can see, meet all the requirements, even the amount of RAM. So basically, um, we'll deal with this uh, later. Um, if you don't, I'm going to go ahead and keep this stuff disabled. But um, I'm going to immediately put this up to 3 gigabytes of RAM, 3, three megabytes of RAM, uh, which is 3 gigabytes. Um, the detected max is about 850 megabytes, but I wind up to 3 gigabytes, so that has plenty of memory. Um, we're going to auto detect the, detect the uh, installation location. Use KitKat 0 0.9, so it'll work for any version as usual. We're using 0 0.9. We're going to use the rooting process. We use rooting process three, and it tells you how you can update super user by chain fire by going to the Play Store and drag and drop download super user here. Like it drop, drag and drop it into here. That's how you update it. And then reroute or re, you have to reroute um, blue blue stacks in order to do it. So as you can see, now we click proceed. Now you leave everything to. Uh, BS Easy or BlueStacks Easy for Windows. You leave it to, to BlueStacks Easy to complete the uh, process. Um, as you can see, you should see a, a uh, this. Um, you should see a uh, a uh, command prompt to load. Um, you completely ignored it. Do not type in anything. Let be it. Let um, BlueStacks do do what it needs to do. Um, you must have an original root.fs in order to do this process, just so you know. Um, we're going to go ahead and let it do whatever it needs to do, running the rooting scripts and everything. Um, this is the best method for version 0.9x. Um, this isn't guaranteed to work for all versions of 0.9x. I'm not exactly sure if it will. But method three seems to be the best method to use. Method two, I wouldn't recommend, and method one is just you won't have um, Chain Fire's uh, super user app on there. But this should work. This is the best way of doing it. Um, and I'm publishing this video on uh, Top Mobi Guides and Top PC Guides as a brand new video. This is, I'm not joking. This is probably about the best method I can think of. I've been searching around for the internet for this software for a long time. So I hope you guys um, enjoy the software. But anyways, we just simply let it do its processing. Um, the one of the problems that I had doing this video is that I didn't have enough RAM to be uh, to be doing this type of processing. So what I had to do is I had to go buy more RAM, and um, that basically fixed all the issues with the rooting process for me. Um, I don't. Uh, it's just specifically me that I was having a problem with. I'm quite sure you guys aren't going to. But it's just, um, it's my computer's kind of complicated. As you know from my some of my videos that I release out, it does get complicated. Okay, so it closes the console, it's finishing and starting BlueStacks. So it should right now be running off of three gigabytes of RAM, and it should be also run, should be have rooted. Um, I made a small modification to BS Easy, so this one's different from the original BS Easy. Um, the root root checker, I didn't like the root checker that was provided into there, so I changed it in the installation. So that was about the only thing I changed really. So we're gonna go ahead and close this because we don't need it anymore. We're gonna press OK. Press OK again. As you know, it changed the uh, changed the uh, skin, you know. 
I changed it, so it's not really much of a problem to me. It's okay. They're like, you know, they also have Root Explorer too, so. Um, as you know, if we open this, click Agree, click OK, Verify Root, Grant. As you can see, this this uh, Android has been success. This uh, BlueStacks has been successfully rooted. So, um, anyone who wants to get this, you guys can simply get this from going to the description bar and go look, um, and you can easily download this. If you really want it, go ahead and go ahead and download it. Um, if you need to uh, need to um, download, um, this is. Um, this is literally the best way of rooting BlueStacks. I hope that some people please. I will have this video as Creative Commons. If you want to use my video instead of making your own, go ahead. This is video as Creative Commons. You can you can download it and share it to other YouTube channels if you want to. I don't care. Go ahead. But anyways, guys, my name is Alex Duncan. I'll see you guys later. This is Top Moby Guides and Top PC Guides. Catch you guys on the next one.